This is the golden age of artificial intelligence. And that's what we have in front of us today in this transformational moment that we're in. I think everybody in this room knows that AI is going to transform American industry from breakthroughs in medicine to advanced transportation and more personalized education. The promise of AI is absolutely boundless. Investment is coming. The government and the private sector are working together to realize the value that AI can deliver and the impact that it will have on our economic prosperity and security. What we're about to go through and what we're about to do will make everything else we've done in the past, in a sense, look trivial. The University of Chicago's close relationship with Argonne National Laboratory affords invaluable opportunities for all aspects of the needed DOE, university, private sector collaborative effort to flourish. We are going to transform what computing is about in the next 10, 20 years it's a very exciting time. Another area where I see a very large opportunity for increased services to our customers is in the grid optimization space. I want to put a real fine point in this so you don't have to read between the lines. If you're in there in industry and you are not engaging with our computing power at the Department of Energy, you are missing out on a great tool that could be maximizing uh, your efforts and the taxpayer dollars. A machine to machine learning is very, very important. The application of artificial intelligence in this area is just absolutely critical. So when we start thinking about using AI in new application domains, a key open problem is just even figuring out what's the right set of AI or machine learning tools that we should be bringing to bear on the problem in the first place. If you think about artificial intelligence in the lab, citing some of the most profound questions about human um, nature and where we're headed, you know, the, the ability to, to really bring um, that technology to a, a level that we only imagined in science fiction books 20 years ago. That's really interesting. We're having to make the very needed transition to break down silos among IT, data, modeling and simulation, manufacturing, engineering, and work on these projects together. First it was used to access data, then access services, then access people, then access assets and autonomous driving. Now we use it remotely to have drones do inspections for us. And we tell ourselves, how do we use AI to help us deliver more value? It is a perfect time to have this conversation. We're pleased that you're here and look forward to exciting discussions and thought-provoking ideas. The U.S. has pushed the limits of computational power and we have given our innovators the freedom to thrive. And today we can proudly say that America continues to be the leader in artificial intelligence.